Okay, uh, this is part of a two-step uh, process on how to create a homework page and then later how to link that page onto your calendar within your virtual classroom and Google Sites. So in this particular video, I will show you how to uh, link the homework page to your uh, Google Calendar. Uh, there's a couple things that you're going to need in order to do this. A, you're going to need a homework page and then B, you're going to need a document from my virtual classroom uh, website that you're watching this video from and that is this calendar link document. So I'm going to click on that. This is a Google Doc I created when I learned how to do this. And so for whatever reason um, Google Calendar does not allow you to easily insert links which I can't even explain that. I, I don't know why. Um, but basically what what you can do is you can bypass that by inserting an embed code into your calendar and uh, then you can modify it with your specific link and then that will allow you to create this link. So that's what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. So the first thing we need is we need the embed code. So we're going to go here and copy this. And that of course is in this box within this Google Doc that, that I have. And this gives you some directions on what to do which are the same thing that I'm going to do when I walk through this. The next thing that we need to do is actually need to create a calendar event so I'm going to go to create event and whoops I'm going to do it on today hey where are we okay so world history homework 617 now I'm going to pick a calendar I'm going to use Treehouse Classroom Calendar and rather than click create event I'm gonna go into edit event. Edit event allows you to add details and what you do is the first thing you do is paste this into the description. Now th again this is an embed code which will take you to that link. Um, you will see that the link is actually right here and we're gonna switch that out. That's an old link. We're gonna use this one. So I'm gonna go to world history this is one particular assignment. You'll notice that this has uh, got the homework for Tuesday, June 17th, is to finish the movie The Century of the Cell Shock, blah, blah, blah. And up here is the URL for that particular deal. If you use announcement page for your homework, every single announcement that you make is its own uh, website. And, and really, you, you can do everything in this that you could do on, or not website, but web page you can put everything in this announcement that you can do on a normal web page. So you can see I've attached the movie worksheet. If I wanted to, I could embed the movie itself in here, which I've got it embedded in a different place, and that's why I don't do that. If you click on this, this will take you to the actual movie and where where it is embedded, and there you've got that. And I could have put that on that, that first one, but I didn't. So uh, with that, I go over to my calendar and I've highlighted this. I'm going to control V and I'm going to replace it with this other one. So there I am. And then see where it says link description? This is what's going to appear in the text. So click this link for assignment. That's what I'm going to put there. Then I click save and now let's test to see if this worked so now I'm gonna to go to my world history page or my my uh, classroom my virtual classroom and I've got a calendar on the home page and I have the world history link so I click on this and notice that it displays the description all I've listed here is the class and the day and then when I click the link for the description it takes me to the actual homework assignment now again what's really cool about using something like this is if you document your assignments this way where you use the title of the class and you use the title of the assignment you can recycle these over and over and over so you know if if I assign the shell shock again next year rather than rewriting all of this stuff out I can find this either by typing in shell shock up here in the search which I would find somewhere so it says I see the movie worksheet I see ah here we are 
I and and that lets me know when I see world history the century shell shock that lets me know it's a homework assignment so I click on that and then what I would do is when I did it again I would just change the day so I just come in here and I fix this and if there's anything else I, I need to add to this I can I resave this I've already got the link I don't have to keep doing this over and over and over and what will happen over the course of a semester or a year is you'll get this huge bank of homework assignments most of which you tend to reassign year after year and uh, in a couple years this becomes incredibly easy and then of course what you do is you just link them onto the calendar and the students just click on this on the calendar it doesn't say century shell shock it just says homework 617 but then when they click the link they've got that so this is a really powerful tool to use anyway uh, that's how to do that and uh, hopefully this video has helped I've also got instructions on the website so thank you for watching